Hello, I'm Christina Amalong from the Optimal Health Network, and I'm going to talk to you about colon tubes. A colon tube is a type of nozzle that is a great choice for many people for a bunch of different reasons. One is it's um, thin, and so it is psychologically less difficult to insert into the anus um, because of its thinness. Also, it's very smooth and tapered and slides in quite easily once it's lubricated with a quality lubricant like our Super Salve um, or KY Jelly, something like that. Also, if needed, the colon tube can be inserted deeper into the colon so that A, it doesn't fall out as easily as some other nozzles, or B, you want the solution delivered a little bit deeper into the colon. Also, it's firm enough to insert easily, but it's also flexible enough that there's no risk of perforating the colon uh, with this particular type of nozzle. So we often get questions about, is a colon tube safe to use? Um, absolutely, I've been working with colon tubes for over 20 years now and uh, they're very safe. We do recommend that you don't necessarily need to insert it much farther than what is comfortable for you to easily put it in without um, it so you can be hands-free and it's not coming out. So that's going to be um, about uh, four inches to six. Some people even will insert it 10 inches. Um, you don't need to do that. The real trick with uh, the enema and an effective process is all about the clamp and putting the solution in slowly. So that's how we recommend getting solution in deeper is by slowly and persistently adding it into the body. But for those who do want to, who are more experienced and for one reason or another want to deliver the therapeutic solution deeper into the colon, the colon tubes have been used um, their full length and the uh, secure the end that secures to the other part of the tubing is uh, very secure that that's not going to fall off. So yes, colon tubes are safe, um, but it's important never to force the colon tube or if you have any kind of pain while you're uh, inserting it to stop immediately and um, also to make sure it's uh, well lubricated. So what you want to do before you start your enema is have everything set up with your bag or your bucket um, set at the right height and um, filled with your therapeutic solution and then unclamp and let some of the solution run into your colon tube so that it gets down to the uh, insertion piece and then clamp again so that you've taken out as much of the air as possible um, that is in the tube uh, before you use it. So that's important step. And then also again to lubricate the tube well, the tip down to the uh, bit of tubing right here. Inserting into the body is, is after you've lubricated it, then you're lying down on your back ideally and you go ahead and um, put the colon tube uh, by the anal area and just uh, as you kind of feel your way in, um, just gently push and you'll uh, work the tube into the anus, into the lower part of the colon. And again, just do that. that well, once you get it pa past the sphincter, the anal sphincter, um, it should mostly just slide right in and then again I would recommend stopping at uh, right past the top part of the tip and um, letting a little solution in and seeing how that feels and that will also open up things a little bit so that if you want to insert it a little bit farther you can so the point here is to um, go slowly and to uh, insert it at, in stages and um, using that clamp 
to uh, put a little therapeutic solution into the body as you're going through that process. Then um, once it's in, um, you can go ahead and take your therapeutic enema and uh, when you're all done, you just pull out the tube, set it to the side, maybe on a towel, and sit on the toilet. Over many uses and time, um, the connection between the tip and the colon tube will loosen, so it's time to get a new colon tube at that point. If you need any support with any type of nozzles or particularly a colon tube, you can reach out to us at Optimal Health Network. Thank you for watching and have a beautiful day.